watching Good Day Kentucky with Erica Bivens and Alyssa Andrews. Welcome back. We are talking about a serious issue today, kids and drug use, and more importantly, how we can talk to them about it to hopefully curb abuse. I want to welcome in Alex Ellswick with the UK Extension Specialist for Substance Abuse Prevention and Recovery. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so this is obviously a pretty tough topic, especially for parents and guardians. When is the time or when's a good time that we should start talking to our kids about this? Sure. I, th I think it's one of those conversations parents want to avoid for yeah. the most part, yeah. sex, puberty, and drugs it's probably. Tough. Um, so it's never too early to start. Okay. As soon as you can begin communicating with your kids is a good time. It's just important to focus on making sure that it's not a conversation you try to get over with. Okay. You want it to be an ongoing dialogue throughout your child's development. Sort of checking in with them every so often. Absolutely. Um, how do you recommend making this, I guess, age appropriate? Because that might be tough for a lot of parents. It's like, well, you know, how do we get into certain subject matters? Sure. We always want the conversations to be age and stage appropriate. Mm -hmm. So. If you're talking to really young children, um, oftentimes it can be helpful to talk in terms of drugs that they're familiar with. Things like mom has a headache, so she takes Tylenol. It provides a sense of relief. Um, as you start talking to kids who are more middle school aged, it can be helpful to use analogies that make it easier to comprehend um, mm -hmm. some of, so for instance, if you're talking about genetic risk, okay. which we know is the, the biggest contributing factor to addiction, sure. um, I'd like to use the analogy of an allergy. So kids will be familiar with a student, uh, a classmate who has a peanut allergy, and if their classmate uh, is exposed to peanuts, they have an allergic reaction. Well, similarly, folks who have addiction in their family history have an wow. allergic reaction to drugs and alcohol, wow. um, and their allergic reaction is an inability to stop using. That's a fantastic way to put it with uh, analogies, especially for the kids. I think that helps them grasp right. sort of those uh, topics a lot better. That's, that's really good. If folks are maybe watching this and they're just looking for some other helpful resources or information, where can they find that? Sure. So uh, drugabuse.gov is the official website for the National Institute of Drug Abuse. They have some fantastic resources there. In particular, they have interactive games and exercises mm -hmm. that are age appropriate for kids and a really interesting way for kids to, uh, to learn more about the dangers of drugs and alcohol. Absolutely. Any final thoughts on this subject? This is a really good topic. It's just an uncomfortable conversation to have, so I would encourage parents to make it uh, a dialogue and not a monologue, right? right? We don't want to lecture to kids about drugs. We want to invite them into a safe space to have a conversation where they can um, feel comfortable discussing some of those things. Really great. Thanks so much for the tips today. We appreciate it, Alex. Thanks for having me.